What's going on my reefing fam? March here, Fragbox TV. We just got in a beautiful, be ah man, words cannot describe. I should just shut up for this video and play a song and then just hover over the corals and you don't need to hear me speak for this one because the corals can just speak for themselves. Who am I kidding? I talk a lot, we're not gonna do that. But really nice shipment of corals just came in. 95% SPS, hard corals. I just had a really strange experience here in the store, so it is five o'clock in the morning. And uh, if you guys know, we have a poltergeist, uh, the store is haunted. Something, he, she, it, whatever lives in the basement. I'm gonna do a Halloween episode where I talk to you about my very, very freaky kind of experience that happened to me once. You gotta bear with me for a little bit. I'm gonna get into the corals in a second. Let me just hover over them while I tell you. Um, yeah, I had a really strange experience downstairs, paranormal. Uh, bear with me. Two things, my microphone broke, so you may hear some of the gurgling from this, I'm really sorry. And also, it's five o'clock in the morning, I'm exhausted, but I love you guys, so I'm gonna talk to you about corals, and I'm gonna talk to you about ghosts. Yeah, it was just maybe 10 minutes ago, I got a nice a nice knock. So whatever it is down there, it's friendly. It used to scare the Habibi, GBs, whatever, out of me, and I uh, found it very hard to go downstairs. This time, nothing moved, and it was just like a very, I got a double, like a nice knock, sounded like a knock on the door. I don't know what's down there. Maybe he's trying to say hi. Maybe it wants some coral frags, who knows? But it's harmless, it's been here for about four years. A lot of weird sounds, a lot of weird stuff happens in the basement. When I go down there, I at nighttime, I don't feel like I'm alone. Anyways, I'm gonna talk to you about that more on Halloween, if you guys are interested in hearing my stupid story. Today, I wanna show you these very cool, this is a millipora. I need more adjectives. My vernacular sucks. All I ever say is cool. Nice, uh, you know, I need, I need better words to describe corals. Or, like I said at the beginning, I can just shut up and then the corals can do all the talking for themselves. This is a millipora, probably one of my favorite types of SPS. Ah, you're gonna have to bear with me one last thing, I promise. This will be the last thing, bear with me. This is our, what we call our SPS tank here at the front of the store. If you've never been here, usually the lights are on and it's way cooler, but this is where we keep all of our hard corals. And I have T5s and I have this camera right here. And it's tricky. It's tricky under the LEDs to shoot corals and get accurate color representation with the camera. It's very hard under T5 and the water surface is moving a little bit. So just sort of bear with me as I walk through the tank here. What I was saying, not to get sidetracked, these are millipora. Probably one of my favorite species of SPS coral of all time, tied with tenuous. Why? Millies, it's the fact that they're just hairy. So what does that mean? They have these polyps that extend from their base. I don't truly understand what a coral is, okay? I'm just gonna say that, I'm just gonna be honest. I've been doing this 15 years. I don't, I'm still not sure. Is it a tree? Is it an animal? Is it a plant? What is this thing? It's got, it's got hairs that come out of it. It calcifies, it lives with bacteria and grows in colors. They're magic. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it at that. But they're fuzzy, like they have these the polyps. I don't know if you can see them here because it just came out of the box but they get really, maybe I have another piece of milli that I can show you, kind of like this one. You see those little polyps there? Those little hairs? These are, it's very indicative of a millipora and it just brings me great joy to see them flowing in the current. If you don't have a reef tank, maybe none of this is gonna make sense to you. Uh, if you do have a reef tank, I'm not sure what our viewership is like this fine evening. It's actually the morning. The second one, it's tied with this. This is tenuous. No, let me show you. This one's crazy. Oh, hold on, look at this one. Please, camera, pick up how nice this is. This, look at this one over here. And I think I like tenuous because I have success with them. So people think just because we are a coral store and we sell corals, that that automatically means that everything in here does well and lives and is great and fine and dandy. That is so far from the truth. We have trouble. We run into headaches, we run into troubles just like any other hobbyist. You know, we just have them on a much bigger scale. So if you have, you know, one coral die or one brown out, we'll have 20 or 30, it's just amplified. Um, the system in which we hold the corals here, I wish these lights were on because it's a little wonky with them off, but it's about, 2,000-ish gallons, you can't really tell from up here, but they're all connected in the basement into one large central sump. And so it gives us a lot of stability and control, but if we run into an issue, we kind of have all our eggs in one basket. So it's a little bit scaly. The other thing, when we bring in a big shipment like this, this is 160, 
five, I think. You guys want to count for the next 10 minutes? No, I believe it's 165. Hey, 164. 164. Um, that's really good for a shipment this size of SPS corals. One, that's unheard of. These guys know exactly what they're doing. It's not their first rodeo. They know how to ship them. They've been in the bags for three, three days, 72 hours and one dead, excellent. I have another one here that's dry, and so I put it aside because what I wanted to do was show you, or we'll open it together and see what it's like. Usually I open the shipments with you guys, and uh, this is how I do it with my, this is a very, very highly sophisticated tool. Ha, huh, stupid. Okay, anyways, let's open this guy up and see if after three days he's alive. I'm gonna try and do this all in one take, so bear with me, I'll open the bag up. And then we'll see if after three days, it looks like a tenuous. There's, oh man, I wanna do a video about acro IDs and go through them. There's just so many, it's, it's hard for me. Uh, I'm sorta of well-versed in all the Latin names because um, I just enjoy learning all the different names. Let me put the camera down one second and maybe I can do this with two hands. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get in here, POV, what is going on? Please, buddy, you okay? Look at this, look at this. Barely any water in there. I'm just gonna put them off to the side because I see some frags. Ooh, look at this. I don't even have to do a job. I don't have to work. It's self fragged because it broke in the bag. These are gonna survive. This whole piece looks great in almost no water. It was half out of the bag. Three days. Crazy. If you ever worried about ordering corals online, your stuff's gonna get there next day. I'm gonna throw these in here and see how they look tomorrow in one of our little baskets and save them because every piece of coral is precious. So, Let's grab our tenuous and see how he looks. Where am I gonna put you, buddy? Right there? Is that your new home? Are you happy there? He's happy. I talked to the corals. They don't really answer back though. What kind of mean? Yeah, that's a nice piece. Look at that. You would never guess. You would never guess that was in a bag for three days. Never guess. Half empty. Half empty water. Looks great. It's gonna survive. I'll come back to it maybe in the next vlog uh, episode that we do. What else? This is cool. This is a very nice piece here. I'm not even gonna try the name of that one. I'm confident in some of them. Obviously, obviously this is Montipora Digitata, easy peasy. This is a Valida. Valida, Valida. Maybe I should save the Latin names for another video. Go grab my uh, my paperwork, the permits, because they have all the Latin names that are on there. I think this is a Spatulata. Spatulata, that's kind of a, a mouthful there. Actually not, I think, I know. This is a Spatulata, this is a Slimer. Just healthy, nice sizes. I don't really want to ship them. They ship here kind of well. They're not that easy to ship out. Again, if you really want them, you're across Canada, you're watching this. Um, you know, we are here to serve you. At the end of the day, we are your loyal servants. It's a symbiotic relationship. We hope you like us. We definitely love you. Uh, you're here watching the video. Hopefully subscribe. This is cool. This is a Acropora. It's coming to me. Here she comes. Ah, Plana. Acropora Plana. This, is, I believe, is an Enchanada or Encanada, however you want to pronounce it. This is just ridiculous. This is Acropora Ridiculous. I've just named it. These are Carduce. If you guys don't like the Latin names, I'm sorry. I like them. And this is our channel. So this is uh, Loripes, I believe. It's kind of hard to tell from a Loripes or a Granulosa, but I really do like the Latin names and I just want to know them more. I'd like to be a little bit more confident in, in the names. Man, does that not look nice? Come on, give me a thumbs up, eh? If you're ever going to give me a thumbs up on a video, not that I did anything, these came out from the ocean, but it just, it makes me so happy to see a tank full. Just, you know, well, I guess we could have ordered more. We have some room over here. We have more stuff coming. We're getting into our busy season as you keep hearing me talk about on this channel because you guys hopefully watch the videos we do which is like a video every day i see something on the other side let me go and check this out who are you mr blue i don't know if the camera is going to pick up the color on this one that's pretty cool it's like a blue kind of staghorn i want to say maybe it's a hoaxy mai no it's too thick it's too thick wow i'm here arguing with myself that's the thing you know what i really like the channel i really like making these videos especially when I'm here late at night with the ghost. He's not very good company, but you guys are. So as I'm unpacking, I'm sort of thinking of the things I wanna say during the video, and I'm getting excited to grab the camera and start talking to you guys. So I feel less alone because there's no one else here in the store, but me, 
and now 10,000 of you that are currently watching this ridiculous Millie. We got a lot of Millies. Oh, the flow just came back on, so I'm gonna use our trusty Neptune Apex over here. Press this button. I know someone gave me shit once that this was not straight. Sorry, man. Press the button, and that's cool because what it's gonna do is turn off the flow for 10 minutes. The fish are stressed out. They do not wanna be awake right now. These guys are lazy. They like to sleep in, but uh, oh, where'd they go? Oh, the fish are hiding. What else can I show you from this lovely, lovely shipment? I see, there's a lot here. It's hard for me to focus as someone with self-diagnosed ADHD, and then you see something like this. There's just a lot going on. My eyes drawn to this piece over here, which is a Caroliniana, just kind of a rare species. Uh, they call it deep water. You know what? I'm not 100% sure what that means. When you find it deeper, we have them under incredibly high light. So if I didn't already mention in the video, we're using the Sun Power T5s, eight bulb, 54 watts, 450 watts of raw T5 power, very close to the water surface. Alongside, we have the all blue Reef Bright XHO LED bars. Man, do these things ever make a difference. I had no idea until I threw them on. Um, I thought they were a little gimmicky. You know, why do I need blue accent strips on the side? They had 100 par right here. That, that's a lot. So it's usually 250 to 300. These kick it up a notch, adding 100 par. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, that's photosynthetic active radiation, I think, maybe. I feel like I should know that, but really, really love these lights. Still my preferred light for keeping coloring growing, SPS and Acropora. It's old school. Nobody really buys these. I haven't sold one of these in, I want to say, two years. If you're looking for one, I don't mean to do sales plugs in the video, and a lot of you are not local, can't even buy them. I have a small two-foot, eight-bulb, like-new fixture um, maybe used for two, three months in the basement. I'll just have to go down there and ask the poltergeist if it's okay if I can grab it. But if someone's interested, send us an email. I guess I could ship it. What am I saying? It's not coral, it's hardware. But if you're looking for an awesome T5 light, this shipment, man, I could just stand here and talk all day about it. A lot of these are gonna get fragged up. The cost of importing, ooh, baby, it's crazy. It's, it's quite high. Uh, 20, 25 dollars a kilo. It's five, four or five times what we used to pay in terms of shipping to bring stuff in. I don't want to talk about that. I just want to talk about how nice the corals are, but it's reflected in the price. It is quite expensive. So a very nice colony, let's say something like this, a millipora that's just stunning. I keep going back to the millies, you know, I'm not giving enough love to, I don't know what this is, maybe a Salago, or it's maybe because there's a lot of millies here. I think this is an Acropora Florida, or maybe a Ceramentosa. It's hard to tell. It's really tricky. You know, even this one here, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to guess on that one. But what I was saying before I got sidetracked was something like this would cost about 250 Canadian. If you're looking for the U.S. conversion, jump on Google or it's about um, divide by 1.3. So I don't know what that works out to be. My math isn't the best, but 250-ish Canadian. Maybe that's like 190-ish something U.S. That's what they run here. This is really nice too. These, uh, those are probably the two nicest out of the entire shipment. Uh, you know what happens when we get really nice stuff? You know what I'm making that crazy sigh? It's because I want to keep them all. I'm messed up, guys. If you haven't noticed, uh, I'm a coral crackhead. Okay, I'm, I'm the store owner. I'm still a hobbyist. I still am passionate and love these strange little animals. Um, that's why it's 5 o'clock in the morning. And instead of going to bed, I'm here talking to you guys about corals. Normal people, you've done work. You go home. You don't pick up the camera and start doing YouTube videos, but I'm not normal. So I hope you appreciate that because that's the whole reason why you get to check out these pieces. I don't think I'm going to put them on the site. I don't know. You guys let me know if you really, really want them. You want us to ship them. Um, I would prefer they ship better as frags. If you're local, come and check them out. They do need some time to just chill. I don't want to sell them right, right away. I like to let them relax. They just got off a flight for three days. You know, you don't want to go out and port party right away. Let them check into the hotel hang out, see what's up, you know, have a drink. Uh, I just like to let them chill because we may lose a couple here and there and I don't want them, I don't want you to lose it in your tank. I don't want them to die, obviously. I want them all to live, but I, if it's going to die, I would prefer it die here in the store than it dies at home. Um, you spend 100, 200, 300 bucks, whatever. I would hate for them to perish at your place. Let them, let them relax and chill here we'll take the loss, you know, and then from from four to five days in, 
let me show you what I'm talking about. Like this one over here, I'm, I'm certain we're gonna lose a few. 10% loss actually when you import corals like this is a normal amount. I can't even claim with our supplier anything that isn't more than a 10% loss. So the fact I'm still a little bit blown away with just one, just one. So maybe two, we'll see. You see here on the tips of this Millie, Millie, sorry if I didn't clarify, it's just a short term for Millipora in the, in the hobby. Uh, it's just the trade name, we call it Milli, M-I, I guess L-L-I. Over here, it's losing tissue on the ends and that is not a good sign. So, what do I do? Absolutely nothing. Don't touch it, leave it alone, let it figure it out. At this point, less is more and I'm not gonna frag it and, and do all that and try and save it. You just leave the coral alone. Hopefully, he figures it out. Maybe the tissue recession will continue and you lose the piece, maybe not. Maybe it's just those couple branches. It figures it out. Corals are, there's a lot going on that we don't see. We, so I'm gonna let him hang out and chill and hopefully, you know, I don't wanna lose any corals. Hopefully we don't lose that one. What else can I tell you about the shipment? Um, I think I covered, let me show you one more over here. Cause this is, if you wanna talk yellow, you think a banana is yellow? You think a fire hydrant is yellow? Bro, you ain't never seen yellow. Look at this. Look. Sorry, I don't mean to like yell at you guys. I get excited. I get excited about corals. This is a very cool piece. Very, very nice piece of coral. If I was gonna keep one from this entire order, man, it's hard to pick. Very hard to pick. This would definitely be in the running. So would this one. There's only one of those. And so would this orange. I'm a sucker for orange. I keep coming back to this piece. Oranges and pinks. I, I'm a sucker for those. That's that's just my, my cup of tea when it comes to millies, when it comes to corals in general. Super, super happy with the shipment. Could, yeah, couldn't be happier. I wish I ordered more. I think 165 is what our permits allowed for. So we are highly governed. We are highly controlled industry. If you guys want to hear more about that, I'm happy to do a video talking about boring stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe I can do it in like a vlog update or something so it's not too dry. But I can talk to you about uh, how it works to import corals and what sort of permits are involved. If that's something that you are interested, I'm more than happy to do it. We're getting close to 20 minutes, which YouTube tells me is our sweet spot. I don't know if you guys are really watching this long. I'm going to go and check. Uh, do we have any super fans out there? You know what? How many people are really watching the entire video start to finish? That's the question of the day. I want you to comment below. If you're new to the channel, hello. And if you're not and you watch all of them, let me know. Uh, I really like, I would really like to know start to finish. Maybe I should start dropping like, oh, game changer. You know that, that mind blown emoji, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. What if I start dropping little Easter eggs in the video, like a little coupon code or, you know, little free stuff. And then it'll kind of get you guys to be more engaged and watch it. Or it's maybe just going to cause distraction and you're looking for coupon codes instead of listening to me rant about corals. Anyways, I think that's about it. We're going to wrap this one up. We're going to be back here tomorrow because if you don't already know, we do a video or at least we try. We, okay, I should really rephrase that. No, yeah, we try our best to do a reef related video seven days a week. Gosh darn it. And that's it. This one's a wrap. Thanks to you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV.